Has protein structure got you in a twist? Well, don't worry, I'm here to help. My name is Mr. White and I've got more than 20 years experience as a biology teacher. So after a polypeptide chain leaves the ribosome, we see it's in the sequence of amino acids there that are joined by peptide bonds. But this is the simple structure of the protein and it becomes much more complicated than that. It undergoes a series of foldings and a series of bonds and interactions that come into place and hold the polypeptide chain in a three-dimensional shape, which then starts to form the protein. But it then goes one step further and folds more and more and more, eventually forming this much more complex and secure protein structure. And we can see, I see all these different interactions here. Now you need to know about the hydrogen bonds as one of the holding factors within the protein, but you also need to know about other interactions. That's things like ionic bonds, hydrophobic interactions and so on. You don't necessarily need to know the names at higher, but you do it advanced higher. Hope that helps. Follow me for more.